Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest fellow believers, brethren, and um, brothers and sisters in the Lord. God bless you. I wish you a wonderful good morning. Shalom. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for tuning in today in the name of Jesus. I have a small topic I want to talk today about the blood of Jesus Christ. Because in the last days, most churches don't pre preach about the blood. And the blood is what has the final say. Amen. The Bible even says in the book of Revelation that we overcame the devil by the blood of Jesus. And by the words of our testimony, we love not our life even unto death in Jesus' name. So that's why I want to talk today about the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, the blood of Jesus. The topic is, or the title is that, the speak the blood. Amen. Speak the blood or the blood speaks. The blood itself speaks for himself. If you read um, the, the book of Genesis, the Bible is saying that uh, the blood of uh, Abel was speaking. Jesus, uh, God was asking uh, uh, Cain and said, what have you done to your brother? He said, the blood of your brother is speaking in the ground against you. So the blood of Jesus, the blood speaks, amen? Even the blood of Jesus Christ speaks. If you read the book of uh, uh, Hebrews, Hebrews is talking about it. Hebrews, uh, 12, uh, Hebrews 12 verse 24, it says that the blood of Jesus Christ speak better things than the blood of Abel. So because the blood of Jesus, uh, Abel was speaking about judgment, 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 and say, let there the be vengeance, you know, speak vengeance. But the blood of Jesus Christ speaking for us for mercy, for mercy. So the, if the blood be for you, standing for you, who can be then against you? Amen? In the name of Jesus Christ. There is no power that can ever conquer the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ is the final state. That's what the Bible even says in the book of Revelation, that we overcame. The blood speaks. It is written that the blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Hebrews 12, 24, in the name of Jesus. The blood speaks for life for us. Amen? Because the life of the flesh is in the blood, according to Leviticus 17, 11. The life of every flesh is in the blood. And the Bible says that, and Jesus Christ, the, that the Father gave the blood of his Son to make an atonement for our soul. Because in the book of uh, Hebrews 9, they say that without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Because the blood is the one that stands on our behalf to forgive our sins to cover. Because blood is a covering. It covers us so that the Father cannot judge us because of sin. You know, Because God cannot behold sin. Sin is abomination for him. So the blood is what makes us to come close to him. Amen? In the name of Jesus. So the blood speaks for life. Amen? If you are in any dead situation, plead the blood. Speak the blood. Amen? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. You speak the blood, you plead the blood in Jesus Christ's mighty name. The blood speaks for atonement for us. 11 because uh, 17, 11. It speaks for atonement for us. So there was a time that I got a very serious, dangerous attack on my mind and on my brain. I was in a kind of uh, this thing with uh, some forces from uh, Lebanon, you know, the, uh, you know, one funny forces like that. They put me in one to underground, you know, for, for almost one week, I was fasting and praying. I even did not even, I could not remember anything. And then I was just using one scripture throughout that time. That was 2015, the end of 2000. I was using one scripture. I was just re repeating that scripture. I said, the blood makes an atonement for the soul. The life of the flesh is in the blood. And it's the blood that makes an atonement for my, for the soul. I say, Father, let the blood of Jesus make an atonement for my soul. Until that is how they brought me out of this uh, Nemrod. It was a Nemrod something, you know, Nemrod uh, forces. Uh, that's how they brought me out of this their prison before they carried me to Jerusalem. An angel came and rescued me and they brought me back. You know, I was in Finland at that time. So it was a dangerous attack. And that's how my mind was restored by the blood of Jesus. I was speaking, oh, oh Lord, the blood is the blood that makes an atonement. The blood, let it make an atonement. So speak the blood in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood makes an atonement for the soul. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The blood speaks for deliverance. If you read Zechariah 9 11, the blood speaks for deliverance because the Father was speaking to you. So he said, Because of the blood of your covenant, I'll bring for your prisoner out of the pit wherein there is no water. Amen. The way it's no water, which means there is a, it's dead in the pit of graves. He said, We'll speak deliverance, bring you forth, bring you out of the pit where there is no water. So speak the blood in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it bring you deliverance in Jesus' name. And they also bring for restoration. The Bible says that I will restore unto you, you know. The, even that same scripture, verse uh, uh, 11, 12, it says, Turn unto your stronghold, because the blood is our stronghold. Turn to your stronghold, I will restore unto you double. Amen? In the name of Jesus Christ. So speak the blood. The blood is 
is for speak for sanctification it speaks for justification it speaks for righteousness because we cannot uh, obtain righteousness by our own works but the blood of jesus Christ is what has made us righteous because the father has paid the price for our sin the bible says that god made christ to be seen for us who knew no sin so that we should be made now the righteousness of god in him so it's the blood that make us righteous if you read the book of hebrews uh, 5 verse 1 it says that also now we are justified by the blood of jesus christ amen so we are not justified for all things even things that we could not be justified by the law of moses now we are justified by the blood of jesus the blood speak on our behalf against the accuser the accuser of the brethren is the devil the bible says that in the book of revelation 12 if you read revelation 12 11 say the accuser of the brethren was cast down you know because he accused us before our god day and night and the bible said the blood of jesus christ we overcame him so you cannot overcome the accuser with your own so you have to overcome the accuser only by the blood of the lamb amen you say we accuse you overcome him by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus christ so they are, you can use the blood of jesus against the accuser say accuser i silence you by the blood of jesus christ in jesus name there is no condemnation again for me who is in christ jesus amen you silence them in jesus name. silence them even in the grave in jesus name. tell them say the blood bring you 12 feet under in the mighty name of jesus christ i command the blood to send you 12 feet under in the mighty name of jesus because the blood speaks you can rebuke the enemy by the blood of jesus says so i rebuke you i rebuke your accusation by the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ they speak the blood speak for judgment amen if you read the book of Exodus 12, 11, he's talking about the blood of Jesus Christ. So he speak judgment because the father said that I will execute judgment against the gods of Egypt for I am the Lord and the blood shall be unto you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when they see the blood, they shall pass over in the name of Jesus Christ. So the blood speak for judgment in Jesus. If you want to release judgment on the witches, the wizard, the warlocks, the occulting masters, you release the blood, you speak the blood. Amen. Because the blood speak. For judgment against them in jesus christ's mighty name the father said he will release judgment again because when the blood was shed in egypt when the children of israel was had was bound in egypt for for 430 years when the god gave instruction to moses to sh go and kill the lamb and share the blood they, because it was a, a just a things to you know was a shadow of things because jesus christ's blood has been shed out. that blood it released judgment on Egypt. There was cry in the house of the Egyptian. That's what the Bible says. There was cry in the house of the Egyptian. Everyone was crying because everyone house there was dead there. So if you want to release judgment, release judgment by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. You declare to your enemies, I command you to go 12 feet under. The blood send you 12 feet under in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I overcome you, Satan, by the blood of Jesus. The blood is against you. The blood prevail. You know, the blood prevail against the enemy in the name of jesus christ the blood will prevail all the time it prevailed in egypt it prevailed when jesus christ died on the cross the blood of jesus christ is what raised jesus christ again from dead from the dead the blood prevail all the time in the name of jesus the blood is against you satan in the name of jesus the blood is against you strong man in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the blood now disappoint all your devices you can pray the blood disappoint all your devices against me in the name of jesus christ everything that belongs to me i cover it with the blood of jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, the blood, the blood, this blood is the speaking blood, is the overreigning blood in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ, amen. God, Jesus Christ is the internal son of God who died for the internal sin of the whole world for every human race. Amen. So you cannot, you can, for example, you can dress rich, you know, you, it, it's better for you not to dress rich or you dress some kind of rosy with rosy clothes and looking nice, smelling nice and all that kind of stuff. And then you are not covered under the blood. It's better you don't dress nice. You don't have any rosy clothes. You don't put nice perfume, but be covered under the blood. Amen. Because the enemy, the lion, uh, with the rolling lion is seeking for whom to devour and if you don't have the blood on you it will devour you in the name of jesus christ so but you have to be under the blood all the time if you're under the blood it's all right amen you are okay if you're under the blood we are not defenseless we are we have the blood of jesus christ we are not defenseless so you have to use the blood for your defense in the name of jesus because the lord said he will not allow the destroyer to enter your houses by the blood of jesus when they see the blood they must pass over in the name of jesus 
Jesus. The blood speaks, so you have to speak the blood in the name of Jesus. If the children of Israel, they killed the lamb and they put the blood on the doorpost, uh, on the on the basin, they did not use it to put it on the doorpost, the spirit of death would have entered the house. So you, by putting the blood, you taking it from that basin and putting it on the doorpost is by speaking it and declaring it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are not a failure because we have the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. So we stay under the blood all the time in the name of Jesus. The blood, there is power. The Bible calls it, in the whole Bible says there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. David called it precious. The Bible is not a lie. He said the blood of Jesus Christ is precious and there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So there is power. You know this song says there is power, power, power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood, in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. So call the blood of Jesus Christ today and speak the blood in the name of Jesus. Talk the blood all the time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. There was a time that I had a battle and the Lord told me to go to Sweden. I was in Finland as a missionary. So I was going to Sweden to go and have a rest you know, for some days so that I can read and study and hear what the Lord was speaking because I was fasting. And then the, the, there was a serious attack with the devil himself. They called him to come and meet me. So, you know, say, I'm running away, you know, that kind of stuff. And he came and met me, and all of a sudden, the woman who brought all these forces to come and attack me, brought the incremental forces, brought the spirits there from the grave. And these spirits, then, when they saw me, I, I hold my back on my hand like this. I said, I come out. I, I, they wanted to take my back. They said, well, let's take the back. You know, all these thieves there. Oh, they were all surrounding me like that. So I just noticed it. I just take my back on my hand. I just put it up. I said, I cover my back with the blood of Jesus. And I cover everything with the blood of Jesus Christ. All of them just left me. In the name of Jesus. All of them just left me. They just stand far. And they just turned and start to attack the woman. I start to say, why did you bring this uh, good Christian woman here? Why did you wake us on the grave to come and to come there? So now you, we, 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 we are going to destroy it. They destroy her. So the blood speaks on our behalf in Jesus' name. Cover everything with the blood of Jesus. Cover your car, cover your possession, cover your bank account, cover your money, cover your children, cover your husband, cover your business. Everything with the blood of Jesus Christ. Speak the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Talk the blood all the time in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not care what Satan is doing. I don't really care what Satan is doing. I, all what I care is I, about the blood because God has said that we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. The devil himself. We overcome Satan by by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when Satan saw me in that situation, in that ship, like that when he, they came to call him, he just saw me and said, no, I don't want her. You know, he said, I don't know why her because I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. I'm under the blood in the name of Jesus Christ. I have the blood of Jesus Christ to overcome him. That is why I have the blood of Jesus Christ to overcome him. So that's why he cannot touch me in the name of Jesus Christ. There is anointing in the blood of Jesus Christ. So Satan, you cannot harm me. You cannot come to my house. You cannot touch my daughter. You cannot touch anything. When you see the blood pass over, Christ Jesus Christ is my redemption. He is my Passover sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. So you have to declare in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood will speak for me all the time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You wicked devils, the blood is against you. You tell them, you wicked devils, the blood is against you. You are caught in powers, the blood is against you in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus Christ, say, Laventan, the blood is against you. Laventan, you cannot stay in my body. The blood is against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Or caught in powers, you cannot stay in my house. The blood is against you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You cannot stay here in the blood. Poverty signals you cannot stay I am redeemed destruction you cannot stay the blood is against you I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you cannot stay the blood is against you come out by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus name every cause they put upon you you can reverse the cause by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ I break the cause of sickness disease death poverty destruction every cause of oppression I break the cause I reverse it by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that if anyone be in Christ, is Abraham's seed and join here according to the promise. Because God promised Abraham that he will.
will be heir of the world of the whole earth. Amen. Through the seed of that will come to him, which is Jesus Christ. And Abraham, the, the our forefathers, he is blessed, and we are blessed through him in the name of Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ came through the seed of Abraham. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So any cause you reverse it by the blood of Jesus Christ, and you release the blessing by the blood of Jesus. Say the blessing of Abraham is mine in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of Abel speak for vengeance, but the blood of Jesus Christ speak for us for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. So you can go to the Father all the time and the, the, you plead. You say, Father, I come in the name of Jesus and I come by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you see, the Father will just look at you, have mercy on you all the time in the name of Jesus Christ. You accept his son and you accept the sacrifice that was done on the cross. Amen? So the Father will always, always look at you with mercy. So, Satan, the blood speaks for me and also the blood speaks against you in Jesus name. You tell the devil, the blood speaks for me for mercy, but the blood speaks against you for your destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But the blood speaks for me, it speaks for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. But the blood is against Satan and all his works and all your devices. I tell the devil, I said, your blood is against your works, your devices, and all your scheme against me in Jesus' name. I command the blood to frustrate it all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name. So you can pray with the blood in Jesus' name. So everything that belongs to me is as we reconcile back to the Lord Jesus Christ through the blood of the cross in the name of Jesus Christ. That is what is written in Colossians, the book of Colossians 1. Verse 20, it says, everything that belongs to us has been reconciled back to the to, 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 to God through the blood of the cross. So my daughter, my stuff, my everything that belongs to me is covered with the blood of Jesus and has been reconciled and Satan cannot touch it in the name of Jesus Christ. Job was making sacrifice, doing blood offering every time for his children and for his possession and everything and putting the blood and Satan said, have you not made a hinge around him, around his house and around, uh, around everything that he has on every side? You have blessed the works of his house and also you have increased the substance in the land. Amen. So the blood of Jesus Christ was the one that made a hinge around uh, Job, you know, because that was a shadow of things, but now the real thing has come, which is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the internal Son of God, who without sin, without, without spot, without blameless, died for us with his own precious blood and redeemed us back to himself. So now the blood has translated us from the kingdom of darkness to God's marvelous kingdom of light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So speak the blood. In